Israeli and Hamas officials have tempered expectations set by U.S. President Joe Biden regarding an imminent ceasefire in Gaza, casting doubts on the possibility of a truce before Ramadan. Well, I hope by the beginning of the weekend, I mean the end of the weekend. At least my, my, my national security advisor tells me that we're close, we're close, it's not done yet. And my hope is by next Monday, we'll have a ceasefire. Despite Biden's optimistic view of a temporary ceasefire by 4th March, Hamas's Basim Naim indicated that no new proposal had been received since last week's talks in Paris, mediated by the US, Egypt and Qatar. Naim described Biden's comments as premature and unreflective of the ground realities. Similarly, Israeli sources anonymously shared with Reuters their surprise at Biden's remarks highlighting Hamas's excessive demands as a continuing issue. Stemming the bloodshed in Gaza has been a difficult diplomatic task in the nearly five-month-old war sparked by Hamas's attack on Israel, in which, according to Israeli figures, about 1,200 people were killed and another 250 abducted. Israel's retaliatory offenses has killed almost 30,000 people, displaced more than 85%, of the 2.3 million population from their homes and left more than half of the Strip's infrastructure in ruins.